Hi here, Finns here. I am back for another video and today I'm going to be reacting to the Moldovan entry for Eurovision 2023. And guess who it is? It is Pasha Pefanini is back representing Moldova. Guess after 11 years since he com well competed to represent Moldova in the 2012 contest. I remember it very well. The the trumpet makes you my girl. Do, 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 there was a bit of this going on. It was very crazy, very creative, very fun entry that year. In, in 2012, a competitive year, may I say, came 11th in a strong field. Um, so yes, I'm happy he's back. He's tried to represent Moldova again on several occasions, but he's finally got a get got the ticket again. Um, and he was up against Aliona Moon as well, which, um, of course, he knows very well because Ali Aliona Moon was a uh, backing dancer and singer for his performance. And then he was the backing, well, backing singer and backing um, piano player um, for her performance in 2013. So, um, but Pasha won the Moldovan national selection with his song Sola Si Luna, which means the sun and the moon. So yes, um, I wonder what this is going to be like. Let's see. I hope it's a good one from Moldova. Let's see. Pressing play. Oh, very spiritual. Oh, so entering this forest. Oh. Go away, kind of spiritual forest. Oh, I like that beat. Well, this is completely different from his 2012 entry. Oh. Oh, I like this build. Oh, I like this. <laughs> wow. Oh, yes. So ethnic as well. So tribal and, you know. Ooh. This feels so good. This takes it on another level. Oh, this makes me feel excited. What they could do on a big stage. Oh. Yes. Oh yes, this is so much potential. Oh yes, yes, I'm here for this. I notice he's quite um, quiet in his vocal. He's not belting out. I like these backings though, so they give it life. They give it a bit of a lift. So different from old Delphi take on. Oh, I like this dance beat we've got. Oh yes, I'm here for this. I am here for this. Yes. That has so much potential, like his 2012 entry. I like that. I think that entry has got so much potential. They give it a bit of a revamp, you know. If they can do that in a small studio in Moldova, imagine what they can do on the big stage at Eurovision, you know. 
Think about it, you know, Moldova, you know, let's keep it real, their national selection studio is not the hugest, you know. It is one of the least expensive national selections, but that's okay, spend most of your money at Eurovision, I say. This has a nice tribal feel to it, and it, this reminds me of Goe, but without that white vo voice, tone, vocal, whatever you call it, in it. Um, Oh, it's so spiritual, so just foresty, what's the words? I, I'm really impressed by that. I think that has so much potential for Moldova. And you know what Moldova can do very well at staging? Sometimes they can be a hit, hit and miss here in places, but when they get it right, they can get it right. I mean, Zudi Zab, I didn't really rate that much and it's still game seven, so Moldova can do well on the televote. Oh yes. I liked it. I think this is a good, and it's different from Pasha, you know, you know, his 2012 entry was quite quirky, quite funny, a bit crazy. Do 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 very Moldovan. This is more foresty kind of sound, you know, that, you know, that tribal kind of ethno kind of beat kind of sound, that do 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 Oh, and the backing singers, love them with their reindeer ears. Keep them. They need to come to Liverpool with us. I'll be seeing that in Liverpool, for sure. But no, th th that's great. That's great. I, I really enjoyed that, and I think that has got so much potential. And bringing us a bit of folk. Pop. Yes, that's it. A bit of folk. Discotheque, kind of, whatever you call it. But it's amazing. Well done, Moldova. Um, just give it a, maybe a bit of a revamp um, here and there. But maybe that's the audio in it. The audio wasn't loud on this video, so maybe... It's going to be a bit more louder in the music video, if I say that. In any case, what do you think of the Moldovan entry for Eurovision 2023? Comment down below in the comments section below, like and subscribe to this video, and I'll be back for more content very soon. So then, goodbye, people. Goodbye and go Moldova.